The quality of water boils down to two key issues, mineral content and bicarbonate content. The background mineral content of water is very important as it relates to nutritional elements directly used by plants. Depending on your water source, they could either be useful elements like calcium and magnesium or toxic elements like sodium and chloride. In other cases, such as rain, well or reverse osmosis water sources, they may not be present at all. A certain level of bicarbonates are highly beneficial. When in optimal range, bicarbonates help to keep the pH level of a nutrient solution or substrate more stable. In general, can of nutrients are formulated to be used with a normal hardness of water and will work best when your water is as close to this type as possible. The first thing to do is accurately identify the type of water you have. The EC reading of your water is the first thing to check. Before you start, calibrate your EC pen to ensure accurate results. Ideally, allow time for the temperature of the water to settle to room temperature. Take an EC reading of the water with your EC pen and write this down. An EC of 0.3 or less indicates that you have soft water. An EC of between 0.4 and 0.5 indicates that you have normal water. An EC of 0.5 indicates you have either hard or bad water. Measuring the pH of water shows the potential of hydrogen or acidity and is worth noting at this point. Measuring the carbonate hardness with the KH reagents is the second step. This shows the actual level of bicarbonates and indicates the implications on pH levels this will have. Measure out 5 millilitres of your tap water and pour this into the test tube. Add one drop of the KH reagent from the dripper. You should see the water colour turn pale blue. Slowly add more drops, one at a time, and mix the water between each drop. Count the number of drops added until the water turns yellow. The total number of drops, including the first drop, is equal to the carbonate hardness level. Write this number down. The third measurement is the general hardness of your water. This shows the presence of useful elements like calcium and magnesium, or with bad water indicates the presence of sodium and chloride in the absence of a reading. Open the GHA reagent and add two drops to the water, then mix the solution. The colour should turn dark pink. Open the GHB reagent and add one drop at a time, mixing the solution between each drop. Count the number of drops you add until the solution turns blue. The number of GHB drops needed to create this colour change is the general hardness level. Write down the number of drops added. The drop count information recorded indicates the type of water you have. Using this information, you can determine the quality of your water source and make any changes required. If you record an EC from 0 to 0 0.3 with a carbonate hardness and general hardness of 6 drops or less, then you have soft water. The lower the readings, the softer your water. If you record an EC between 0.4 and 0.5 with a carbonate hardness and general hardness of between 6 and 10, then you have normal water. If you record an EC higher than 0.5, you could either have hard or bad hard water. A carbonate hardness and general hardness result higher than 10 drops means you have hard water full of calcium and magnesium. If the general hardness result is less than 6 drops, then the water is bad, with the minerals mostly being comprised of sodium and chloride. Now you know your water type, you can determine the best course of action to begin preparing it for your nutrient solution. With soft water, add Kanakao mag agent until you reach an EC of 0.4. This corrects the balance of minerals, but you will still need to be aware of a low carbonate hardness. This means you are likely to encounter issues with pH swings in your solution or substrate. With normal water, the bicarbonate and mineral levels are typically within an optimal range for compatibility with Kanakoko and Terra base nutrients. No pretreatments for minerals or bicarbonates are needed here. With hard water, bicarbonate and mineral levels are typically too high so it is advisable to create a more normal hardness of water. Simply mix reverse osmosis water with your tap water until the EC is lowered to 0.4. With bad water, bicarbonate levels will be too high and the mineral content will be comprised of mostly toxic elements such as sodium and chloride. In this case, add reverse osmosis water to your tap water to bring it down to an EC of 0.2, then use Kanakalmag agent to raise it back up to an EC of 0.4. This way minerals will be mostly corrected and you will still have a beneficial level of bicarbonates present. Knowing your water quality in more detail means that you can treat your water so it works in harmony with your main can of terra and cocoa based nutrients. Knowledge is power, so make sure you arm yourself with as much as possible. Find out more information about how Canna can help you understand your water quality on our website at cannauk.com.